Recently stabilized the financial system, pushed shares of major banks higher by 20 percent or more. But despite the rally, there are still questions on Wall Street whether this latest rescue program will pay off for banks, private investors and taxpayers. Scott Gervey reports. There is no question the plan was a hit with the stock market, with the badly battered financial stocks leading the rally. Action was more subdued among bond traders. Treasuries were... There are also questions about how the plan will play on Main Street. Some critics are already complaining that hedge funds stand to gain big profits, while taxpayers take most of the risk. Charles Grodante, an advisor to hedge funds, says that is not true. The hedge funds are not getting a freebie. There's still downside here. The, the loan they're getting is a non-recourse loan. So if what they're buying turns out to be uh, a bad investment, the hedge fund will have to pay back the loan and plus lose uh, their initial equity. The goal of all of these plans is to increase lending to business and consumers. A healthy credit market is essential for economic growth. Two major asset managers endorsed the plan today, Pacific Investment Management, or PIMCO, and BlackRock, which may offer a fund through which individual investors can participate. I expect these investments to be uh, very profitable, about 18% per year um, annualized return. And I expect the banks to share in that. And in return, the banks may get back a, a decent part of their write-down if not all of it. I mean, this is a program that could end up to be a win-win for everybody, a win for the taxpayer and a win for